We're live. Okay. Hi, welcome to <laughs> Wonderful WebOps Workflows with Drupal Composer Automated Testing and Pantheon. Uh, I'm Matthew Cheney, uh, developer advocate here at the Pantheon and co-founder. I'm Fatima, a developer programs engineer at Pantheon. Matt and I are both on the developer relations team. And today we are really excited to go on this magical journey of development with you, which is powered by Terminus Build Tools. We're gonna show you how to use Composer to install your Drupal sites, how you can use GitHub to make pull requests and set up continuous integration uh, so that you can do things like visual regression or behavioral testing. And then all of this with your really cool site will deploy to the Pantheon WebOps platform. Because modern web development is hard and complex and the kinds of things that you and your team needs to do to make a site successful online requires a lot of moving pieces working together. And that's part of what we built at Pantheon is a web ops platform that can connect different stakeholders, designers, content editors, and all make them work together to deliver results for you online. So let's go ahead and take an example of a, you know, example city government looking to do a website project. So just last week, DemoCity.gov hired a development team from the Museo de Art Agency to build a new site for their city so they can create this digital rich experience for their citizens to be able to do things online. During the project kickoff, our team from the Museo de Art Agency gets to meet our Demo City stakeholders. We have Julia, our technical lead, and her developer, Joseph. And from the city side, we have Ashwin, the director of marketing, and Alice, the chief digital officer. Um, and Julia, as the technical lead, has a specific set of requirements and things she needs to make the project successful. She wants to set the project up with a modern workflow on a modern platform and be able to have the entire process run seamlessly so that she can drive results on the web. Joseph is a senior developer who wants to use best practice tools, modern development practices, and coordinate with the rest of the team to help meet deliverables and do sprint planning. On the Demo City side, we have Ashwin, our marketing lead. And Ashwin is really responsible for making sure that all of those city campaigns and online city services like citizens paying for a parking ticket can happen smoothly and those forms won't have any bugs in them. So it's really his job to test and make sure that all of those things are functioning correctly. Finally, as the chief digital officer, Alice is their main stakeholder and the final sign off on all new features and changes. She would like to be able to see those previews of new pages before they go live and have them tested on different devices and bandwidths before they're in the hands of their citizens. And there's a reason why all of these people are working together. Because web ops is a team activity. It's about having different stakeholders and different experiences come together to make uh, internet magic happen. Presumably a lot of you have been on teams where you have a lot of different roles and people need to be coordinating and having a strong platform, having a set of tools like the Terminus Build Tools plugin we're showing off today helps to drive that kind of team activity and helps to make the group effort successful, which is sort of the name of the game for what we're doing here. And if we look at this in practice for our Demo City project and team, we'll start with our technical lead, Julia. As a technical lead, Julia needs to get her new project set up and created for her team to start working. And she wants them to be able to collaborate across the different disciplines on their team, use tools like continuous integration and automated testing to kind of help them focus on the core features that they're building. And what happens is that she finds Pantheon's Terminus Build Tools plugin. And that's exactly what she's looking for, for the integration and automation on her team. And this is the thing that we're sort of advertising and talking about and encouraging you all to check out. Terminus Build Tools is a plugin for the Terminus command line tool for Pantheon. And it helps you set up all of the visual regression testing, the BHAT testing, the composer install, the pull request, the kind of features we'll talk about today. And here's the command in practice running on our awesome uh, terminal. Terminus Build Project Create. This is all you have to do. Specify something like GitHub for your pull requests, Circle CI for continuous integration. Give your site a name like Build Tools Demo. Define an agency you're working for. Pick D7, D8, D9. Give your site a name. And if you have the proper API credentials, if this stuff is dialed in, this entire script will run. It takes about 10 minutes. So we won't go through the whole thing here. 
but it's going to automatically set up a GitHub repository with your composer file, with your Drupal configuration, and with any you know place for your custom code. It'll set up those automatic tests, B hat, visual regression, unit tests using Circle CI to run it, and it'll back end into Pantheon where it'll use our multi dev instances for individual pull requests, and all of this will be wired together and set up from the from the beginning. And that's one of the reasons why Julia, as the technical lead of the project, wanted to set her team up for success. So she ran this command and got her project going. So next up, uh, next on the team is Joseph. And now that the site's all set up and this workflow has been put together, he wants to go ahead and test what that developer workflow is like. He's gonna start building the site using Git branches, collaborate with his dev team on pull requests. He really wants them to get familiar with working in parallel. So he wants to be able to assign them different features and have them iterate quickly on those things. He's interested in tools like Composer, but that's the first time he's working with Composer. And so he's excited to see what Pantheon stocks can do and what Drupal docs can do to help him figure out and learn that quickly. You know, and Composer and pull requests are the name of the game here. Um, Try reloading. And basically, what the, as a developer, what he can do with build tools is he can check out the site, have an individual uh, you know branch for each of the features that he wants to implement. You know, we can implement a branch for pay, for using panels for page building, interest uh, a branch for. Or if he work. wants to install the address module. And each of these things get some of those a, basics. Exactly, and like this is the collaboration that's really important because individual pull requests can be created on GitHub. They can then be tested and they can then be pushed through, which we'll show you in just a minute. Uh, so once Joseph and his team have, you know, gone ahead and installed some of those modules, gotten comfortable, set up those pull requests, it's time for Ashwin to start testing. Um, so he's going to work with his developers to build some automated testing in order to test some of those new features. Is that address module working correctly? Does it have the right zip codes for the city? Uh, things like that. And so he's going to use that to gather insights and test his assumptions about how he thinks citizens will interact with the site and what impact those features will have and testing is really important so yeah. testing is really important for web development it's something uh you know i get really excited when we talk to people that have have really good tests set up it's not always the easiest thing to put in your project at the end it's something that's often really good to start at the beginning and build tools helps to provide that as a framework um, it has build tools already ships with several b hat tests that'll do behavioral testing for your site it ships with visual regression tasks to do uh, comparisons on a before or after. It ships with unit tasks so it can review code. And it provides you a framework to add even more. So you know, these can be extended and created as pull requests, same as everything else. It's a very powerful framework to get up and going quickly with uh, industrial grade workflow. Once Ashwin has gone ahead and kind of created some of those BHAT tests, uh, seen if they're working, features are looking good, everything's done with QA, it's time for Alice to really sign off on some of these new features and then deploy them live. And so Alice really wants to see these things uh, in, you know, a pseudo live environment. She wants to know how they'll look and feel for her citizens. Um, and so what Build Tools really provides here is those multiple pull request options, multi devs where you can preview these features, take a look at them. Uh, so like, let's say they're like, hey, that address geolocation module that we wanted to roll out, let's see that on testing and let's see what that'll look like and how it'll function. And creating a pull request driven workflow is a very good plan for your web development team. This is a screenshot of the project that we were showing off that we're able to have individual pull requests. There's four open right now doing things like updating the underlying composer dependencies to for update for security, adding things like the panels module or other kinds of landing page functionality, extending with additional tests, the actual test coverage of the project or adding things like geolocation systems. Each of these things is its own pull request has its own set of conversation around it and is driven uh, in part by this build tools automatic process. The only thing we had to do to get these pull requests is you know, commit to a branch and open them on GitHub. 
Then, then the automation automatically spins up those requests, pull requests as individual environments on Pantheon. This is the Pantheon dashboard, of course. And the important thing is that for every pull request, you have a corresponding environment, PHP database file system that you and your team can review, click on links, you know, look at the underlying code and have that kind of ephemeral, easy environment to not only review in person, but also to do automatic tests. This so is Matt, if Alice wants to send a link to, let's say, the mayor of Demo City to check out a new filter, she could just send a link to one of those multi devs. Absolutely. It's the kind of thing where, you know, you could put that in email and it already drops it into the, the pull request on GitHub. Very powerful automatic Excellent. system. Um, and each of the thing, each of the, the pull requests before you send it off to the mayor or other stakeholders is going through an automatic testing process ahead of time. So you'll see here, this is the back end of the Circle CI. It's automatically set up for you. You don't even have to look at it if you don't want. But the important thing is that this is running the tests, all the different static tests, B hat, visual regression. And it's reporting back to you with inside of your own pull request, this is back on GitHub, that you have your tests that they have passed and that you can merge that branch in uh, automatically. And it's this kind of flow, this kind of circular kind of, of process, where as a team, you can decide your priorities. As developers, you can create pull requests. As automation, you can do the testing to make sure they're good. And then the stakeholders or the project leads can merge those requests, get that code rolling, and come up with some new and fun things to do. <laughs> Well, it's time for you to get started with build tools. We have this really great docs guide that'll take you step by step, you know, getting started with what it is, how you can get it set up, and even walk you through creating that first pull request um, and how to work with that workflow and uh, writing that first BHAT test and expanding on what comes out of the box. So we encourage all of you to, you know, check out Terminus build tools, install it, get some API tokens, and uh, have a lot of fun doing automatic testing, pull requests, composer install, and playing around with Drupal. The magical web ops journey. <laughs> uh, if you want to chat more about this or anything else with Fata and I myself, uh, stop by our Pantheon booth. We'll be hanging out here at the Drupal Con all week, and I uh, hope everybody has a lovely conference. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for joining us.